Hi, I'm Mathieu Manoir, and um, <laughs> with all the drama that happened with Vaping with Vic and Mark, uh, Vic from Ray Vaping with Vic and Mark TVP, um, I remember a little gem. So, <laughs> Vic loves sci fi shows. Here's one. Here's Vic from the past giving some advice to Vic in the future, prison Vic. So, I'm going to show you the video, comment about it, because, you know, this is a whole video from 2015, and uh, this is a drama video, and uh, keep in mind, I got a little baby that's running around, so you might hear noises in the background, that's him. So, here we go. So, this is... Video from Vic 2015. So, Vic, this is for you. Before you watch this, down there, the, down there, you'll see it. It's a link to a video that Rick put up, you know, Pixel Vape. Um, he, he went, he just went all out and attacked me. Just all By the way, the video is not there anymore. The guy removed it. And, uh, yep. All out. He done a Kelvin, basically, except ten times worse because at least Kelvin knows how to edit. At least Kelvin knows how to put a sentence together without jump cuts, and at least Kelvin actually knows how to present his argument in a graceful and mannerly fashion. Well, he did shout a bit, but it was a graceful and mannerly fashion. But go and look at it down there, down there, right? Don't look at it once. Look at it twice. This is what you should always do when it comes to trolls, right? You should always look at what they say twice because there's hidden meanings um, that they subliminally place in there. Like the whole thing, like, True. Vic loves drama. It's what drives his subscribers. Did you get that? So basically what Rick's saying is the only reason the 3,000 subscribers have subscribed to me is because they like drama. Even though I've released 350 videos and only three of them, and this is the third, covers drama. It's true, but back then, in 2015, all the drama was in forums, and uh, because YouTube was just starting up, doing live shows, and uh, all the drama was on forums, like... Fake Talk UK and uh, all the other websites that they dedicated to streaming for vaping and um, his own personal Facebook page too. And um, the one he currently got is not the first one. The first one ditched it a few years ago. I don't remember if he got hacked or there was too many trolls so he'd start over again. Um, I don't remember why but he ditched his old page but it's, it's still there. There's a lot of wonderful screenshot and a lot of drama, and uh, yeah, no, people are there for the, the 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 vaping videos. But strangely enough, this video got what seven thousand views. Oh, sorry, almost twenty four hundred, and um, his average around those are eight hundred, seven hundred, one, two thousand. When there's a a really popular bit of kit so yeah drama he has a lot of views it's a nice side effect just watch it twice right i'm just gonna i'm just gonna assume you've watched it twice now folks have you got the same image of rick that i've got in my head right now right this is rick standing in an empty room with a bare wood floor and rick saying i'm going to paint this floor Paint can, lid off, paintbrush, painting the floor, right, painting the floors. 20 minutes, okay, it's a big room, 20 minutes later, painting the floor, painting the floor, yeah, painted the floor, folks. Can down, paintbrush down, shit, I've just painted myself into a corner with absolutely no way out. That's what I was thinking the second time I watched that video. Rick, as one adult to another here, right, if you're going to... So, in the whole video, replace Rick by Vic. Go down the personal attack route. There's three things you should always make sure of. Number one, 
have all your eggs in one line and don't have all your eggs in one basket. Number two, always make sure you've got a way out. And number three, if you're going to go down the whole personal attack route straight away, which is what you've done in your video, always check to see if something similar's happened in that line of dramas past. Always check to see if something similar happened, right, with what you're about to do or about to upload. And if there was a bad repercussion of that event happening. Number one. Your eggs are not in one line. You've all you've got all your eggs in one basket, Rick, and that basket is called Vape Talk UK. You're the skull vaping with Victor Business now. Number two. You've painted yourself into a corner, mate. You've got no way out because I mean what are you gonna do to answer this video? Dock me. It's the only thing you've got left. You know, you went straight for the personal attack, and not only did you go for a personal attack, you also attacked all my subscribers. Really? D dude, seriously, that's like getting a double barrel shotgun, cocking it, and blowing both your feet off. That's exactly what you've just did in that video. And number three. Well, you did the very same thing with the video called answering to an army of critics that you removed you you unlisted it right there and you went one step further by saying it's a number game numbers game you don't care if you unsubscribe five other people will replace you. That's a numbers game. You'll never ever notice. Yeah. Three. Do you remember what happened to Kelvin? D do you? Do you? Do you remember what happened to High in USA? That went, that attacked you? Jay Hayes, other reviewers, a business that personally attacked individuals, they almost went bankrupt. You're a business now, Vic. You're not some renty, stuck uh, Scottish blokes like in 2015. Cash your mind back, folks, to the video that Kelvin put up and what Kelvin did, right? And Kelvin apologised for it, I accepted the apology, and we've moved on. Right. We've moved on. Kelvin's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. Rick's shooting himself in the foot. And Vape Talk UK's continuing to carry on. But look what happened to after that video went out. After it went out. Rick was the first one to try and force Kelvin out of Vape Talk UK. Rick was the first one to say we've got nothing to do with this vaporoonies we've got nothing to do with this we're, we're staying neutral he was the first one to do it he was the first one to claim that VTUK was neutral he was the first one to try and you know see you Kelvin he was the first one to try that now for a video that Kelvin did and comparing it to the Kelvin video and comparing that to what Rick's just put up with that disjointed jump cut message just released. Dude, you've seriously backed yourself into a corner. Because not only did you not only did you call out my own morals, you also called out my channel, you called out the way I do things, you called out me on every single level and to top the cherry off you also called out my subscribers and a video that only lasts for about three minutes i mean that that's like loading up all your battleship guns at the same time setting the whole fucking lot off and hoping one of them kind of comes close to me well again that video Concerned of the army of critics, you did just that. That's why it's unlisted now. And uh, yeah, you've you've just, eh. Rick, 
you forced out Kelvin for doing something a lot less than what you've just did. Did you not even bother to think of the damage that your video is doing right now, at this very fucking minute, because your video is up in several Facebook groups out there, I don't know because I've left them all, but your video is up in several Facebook groups out there and you are being You're hammered still. from all fucking sides, mate. Did you not think, just a, duh, duh, should I put this up, duh? What happened to Kelvin when he went after Vic personally, on a personal level, you know? Because the thing is, having an eye. Another thing too, you attack Mark on a post, on a personal level too, questioning his health, his mental health issues. And uh, yeah, can get more personal than that. What about this? Hmm? Argument on the internet is fine and dandy, but when the argument turns into personal attacks, that's when some people start to back off and say, whoa, whoa, I'm just gonna slink off a bit from here. Doesn't matter if they leave five, five others will replace them. Who cares? Right? Who cares? I lose more subscribers in a month than practically most of the other e-cig reviewers in the UK. So go ahead, unsubscribe. I don't care. Uh, really? I don't care. Because I'm already losing about 600 odd a month anyway which is offset by the 1,500 that's deciding to subscribe to the, that's deciding to subscribe in the first place. So go ahead, unsubscribe. I'm not going to notice. I am literally not going to notice. <laughs> Enough said. You went straight down the personal attack route. Not only jeopardising your own channel, not only jeopardising your own reputation as a reviewer, not only jeopardising the reputation of the two co-hosts you've got, and you need to remember here folks, James and Tom have got nothing to do with this, but James and Tom are now in a position where they've got to host a show with the same person that booted Kelvin out for doing something less. What about Chris and Dino? There's nothing to do about it. And now they're gonna have to host a show with you. Hmm? Because you booted Mark. Because one people in his group that, uh, what was it? Some stupid thing about uh, Liverpool being Scotland that triggered you that's the position you're now in Rick mm -hmm. and to top it all off apart from the little snide comments about your piss poor editing skills you'll notice that in this seven minute video I've been attacking your ideas. I haven't been attacking you as a person. Because when it comes to online arguments, never, never attack someone personally unless it's your last line of defense. Very good advice. So I guess you were at your, at your last line of defense, Vic, when you attacked Mark. And... And on the side, attacking his old group, attacking, well, basically everybody but you. So, and notice, I showed up only, wait a minute, I attacked only, only events, things that happened. I commented on it, I just put some background to it because this is a, five years old video but it applied it's so perfect with what happened in the last month month and a half in the last few days so yeah last piece 
Uh, wait, I'm gonna switch right there. When I first comment on that very old video of yours. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, wait a second. Mm. I have to switch because you blocked me for having an opinion. So I'm gonna have to switch account. Just you can, you can see that. Okay. Yes. Well said, Victor. I saw it. But you made a video private now. You rock. Na na na. Get what you deserve. I ain't gonna make mine private. Always time by the video you make. That's what I say. Okay. What happened to all the posts that you put and remove? What happened to that video? That you unlisted. Hmm? You've changed, Vic. And, uh. This is really sad. This is really sad. This is what Mark and many people was saying, were saying when we said we missed the old Vic. The authentic Vic. The one that, yeah, that take no shit, but backs his, uh, his statement, that backs his thing with proof. If you go back then in 2014, 15, 16, there is screenshots with your posts. And uh, now there's nothing of that, just wild, wild shots firing everywhere. It's... Uh, it's getting messy, man. So I'm gonna end up with uh, a quote. History repeats itself. First is a tragedy, second is a farce. Unfortunately, yeah, it's beginning to look like a farce. <laughs>